let's actually ask people in congregations uh, how they think about visual elements in the arts and, and what it does for them or doesn't do. Why, why, is it its absence noticed? Is that a problem? Why, where does that, you know, what do people think about that? So using this ethnographic method, which I have to say probably was due to my, to my wife's, the fact my wife is uh, an anthropologist and my daughter as well, so I'm, I'm constantly asked, well, what, does, what do people think? What, that's, those are empirical questions. You guys are always doing abstract. You gotta ask the empirical question, what are people thinking? So I did a sample, chose a sample from uh, five Catholic congregations, uh, including St. Monica's, who people are here from St. Monica's in St. Santa Monica, uh, at five Catholic congregations, five Orthodox congregations, and five uh, Protestant congregations, and asked them all using the same protocol, uh, what role do the arts play, why, and how do people how to perceive it, and tried to do a balance of interviews with leaders, uh, priests and pastors, and um, more of lay people and the role that visual imagery plays in, in their lives, and then comparing the three, uh, the three traditions. And that, uh, that appeared in a book form called Senses of the Soul. It was really interesting to see the differences and to see that actually many, on the one hand, many Protestant congregations are beginning to use the arts. And I concluded from the, my interviews that in many ways, they are more, or they are free to be more creative in the arts because they don't have a tradition. Uh, you, you can't go to the orthodoxy and say, well, let's, let's do a different kind of image. You gotta do, do these icons, all. let's do something else. No, 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 you don't do that. That's not canonical. So you, in a sense, the tradition is there, it's a beautiful tradition, but it, 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 it's limiting at the same time. Uh, the Catholics have their own sort of limitations of their own stories and their own. So um, you can't imagine Catholics doing the kind of imaginative things that some con Protestant congregations were doing. On the other hand, that's on the one hand, but on the other hand, of the five congregations, and of course I chose congregations that were engaged with the arts. On the other hand, before we'd finished the interviews, which took about 12 to 18 months, two of the congregations who had had paid art directors lost them because they had budget priorities changed. In one case, they, they said, no, we need lights and overhead screens. So they went in all that direction rather than they are. Well, there, there you are. You see, that's, that's this innovation in Protestantism. We're all trying something new so that even if they use the arts for a while, they say, well, we did that, let's try something else. So that, 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 that's the disadvantage of, of not having a tradition.